the hostage crisis began on Saturday in Kenya's capital, Nairobi. 10 to 15 al-Shabaab terrorists entered the popular Westgate shopping center. The shooting began at an outdoor cafe where at least one of the militants was identified as a woman. Police shot at the terrorists as they entered the mall. A children's cooking competition was being held in the busy mall. When the shooting began, shoppers fled, seeking cover in the mall. Terrorists asked hostages to name the Prophet Muhammad's mother to identify Muslims. The terrorists then gunned down non-Muslims. The terrorists began trawling the floors of the mall, spraying ammunition. A number of hostages were taken in the mall's cinema. Police began entering the mall, searching for hostages and ushering them to safety. There were several shootouts between police and terrorists who were said to be well-armed and sophisticated. The militants holed up in the supermarket where they held a number of hostages. Kenyan security forces surrounded the mall throughout Sunday and into Monday. They entered the mall searching for hidden hostages. Military helicopters circled the mall. It was reported that the military landed on the roof attempting to enter the mall. Shortly afterwards, plumes of black smoke were seen coming from the roof. The terrorists were reportedly burning mattresses to confuse military personnel entering from the roof. A girl who escaped said one of the militants was a white female, fueling speculation about one British national and two American nationals reported to be among the terrorists. By Tuesday, Kenyan soldiers had killed three of the terrorists. Ten people were arrested in connection with the siege. The Kenyan military began taking control of the mall, searching for militants still hiding inside. Authorities believe some hostages may also still be hiding in the mall. According to reports from Tuesday afternoon, soldiers were defusing explosives wired in the mall, which was littered with dead bodies.